Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another Coaster Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we have an epic battle based off of Lord of the Rings. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all doing great today. Let's dive right on into it with Lord of the Rings, Saruman versus Ents, created by Bugle. And here they say, hey oh, this Lord of the Rings themed dueling coaster is based on the scene of the second movie, which the Ents attack Isengard and break the dam and flood it. I worked hard and I hope you enjoy the fight between the Ents and Saruman. Uh, big thumbs up to you and the crew for running the contest and making these videos. Also a huge thumbs up to Smiling Gal for supporting me and providing me feedback. Have fun. P.S. Can you find the hidden scene which the smiling gal and I threaten you? If you don't give us the ring, we will drop you. Well, considering I never found the freaking flying buffalo that captured me in hers, I doubt I'll be able to find it in yours, but we'll take a look around. Let's get into it. Here we go. The Siege of Isengard. Sauron. The Ants. Looking incredible, very expertly, super immersive. This is something special. Well, we're gonna start with uh, Soromon. Look at this guy. Where, where's the Where's the Easter egg? Can you find the hidden scene which Smiling I, Growl and I threaten you? Nah, uh, no hints. Let's see. Am I in the cages? That's me. Found it. That's it. Holy moly. Oh. Oh, spooky guy. <laughs> oh, that's a great cue. Oh, Soromon. Upcoming birthdays. Blubber, Smiling Gal, and Soromon. Soromon's birthday. Orc of the month. <laughs> it's me. Why is there a little hand on my head? It's adorable. Rules for orcs. Obey Saruman. Work 24 hours a day. Respect the Uruk Ha. Respect trolls. Kill disobeying orcs for entertainment. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Cut the trees, destroy the ants. Handing out weapons. Look at all these orky orcs. This is fun. Super fun. Well, our first coaster, Soromon. Almost green across the board. Good looking stats. Another 3,000 meter coaster. Assuming the other one is too, that's gonna be 6,000. It's definitely in the top of the longest coasters in the contest. There are a lot of long coasters in this contest. I did not expect that. It's funny because I gave you guys a month for a exploration coaster contest and you're like, well, if I could do that, a 4,000 meter coaster in one month, I can certainly do two in two months. So I definitely like the fact that you guys have taken advantage of the time that we gave you because I did think two months was quite a long time. So there we go. Here he says, first sit, sit and seat view, both of coasters, no cinematic possible, no music. I've selected a song for Soromon. Okay, I'll just wait for a coaster. So they asked us for seat view of both coasters. So here we go.
good googly moogly ladies and gentlemen that is oozing with personality that dam breaking open was phenomenal give me flashbacks to the firewatch uh coaster that we saw years ago holy moly i love the fact that there was so many characters and fun creations just brilliant absolutely brilliant i didn't catch the scene of you guys torturing me or whatever you said but uh maybe someone could Time, uh, put a timestamp in if you saw it. Maybe we haven't found it yet. I don't know. Uh, wow. I also definitely think uh, you separated. Like, the orcs had their own personal experience between the queue, the start of the coaster, for the first, you know, uh, one third of the coaster duration. It was all dedicated to traveling through the orc caves. You saw Saruman torturing orcs and all sorts of crazy stuff happening. And we're seeing the same thing right away with the, the Ents on this side. And I su suppose that the Ents are gonna have this nice little introduction and story of their own. I would have to go as far as to say that this is probably one of the strongest creations in the entire contest that encompasses the spirit of something versus something. A unique experience that brings them together, that back battles in the end. They certainly have a tailored experience thus far. We'll have to wait and see how the tree ant experience is uh, starting off. But here we go, another 3,000 meter coaster. Uh, good looking stats on this. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing too crazy. And then they wanted seat view. I thought the dueling elements were actually really good from the seat view perspective on the last coaster. So I think it's perfectly acceptable to do it again. It was back and forth, pulling ahead, falling behind. So, you know, it, it's great. Super good dueling elements. So here's the coaster. Oh, it's leaving. Let's go.
<laughs> wow. This is so freaking monumentally epic, and I couldn't expect anything less from Bugle. He always delivers on his creations. I believe uh, we featured him on, uh, let me see here. That's right. He was the example for the coaster contest. He did H2O versus Fire, which we used as the example coaster for the contest. Uh, absolutely amazing stuff from Bugle. By far your strongest creation you've ever made on your workshop. Uh, looking through it right now, this is actually just insane. This is this type of work that says, hey, I want to be put in the master builder bracket. Uh, it's legendary. Absolutely legendary and unexpected at that too. Like you, you, you see it from the outside. It looks awesome. It looks monumental. There's a lot of amazing stuff going on there, but it's once you get on the ride that it just gets deeper and deeper and crazier and crazier to the point where like, I didn't expect all of that storytelling, all those characters. And it's just oozing with personality, the dam breaking open. And it's each, each ride was personalized. And I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's absolutely amazing. It follows the spirit of the contest. It's outstanding. It has everything that I wanted to see from this contest and more. I didn't actually expect people to do coasters that are this big with this much storytelling, to be honest. I said, just pick something for something, theme them. But a lot of people have decided to go the route of like an exploration or a storytelling experience. So people have been managing to do dueling coasters that are also long exploration coasters that also tell a story blowing my expectations away and then creating all these triggered events and amazing scenes like this it's just breathtaking uh, wow these two first creations of the expert builder bracket are absolutely representing the experts in a superb way i love it i was actually getting nervous because in the beginning of the contest coming all the way up through the advance to where we are at now i was like man there's a lot of people in this contest i'm trying to find the words that i want to explain what i'm seeing throughout this contest so far that's different from the rest and that is certainly that the lower end brackets have been coming forward with stuff a lot of stuff a lot of the creators throughout this contest have been showing skill of Above their bracket and I was getting a little bit nervous for the experts masters and legends saying hey this is some pretty hard competition are they gonna be able to hold up and show creations of their own bracket there have been times in the past when we did these contests where we've seen things from expert builders that have been underwhelming same with masters and legends even and so far everybody's rep representing their bracket and a step above everybody has come and stepped it up for this contest by far our most creative most successful and most inspiring set of video creations that we have ever seen on the channel so absolutely a magical time to think that we've been doing planet coaster for three years and uh my contests still inspire those to create such wonderful coaster creations in just a very short amount of time super happy super excited and uh thank you for bugle for sharing this creation and really stepping up to the plate on this with your best creation so far this is just mind-blowing what did you guys think? Leave your comments down below for Bugle, and that's going to do it for me in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next contest submission. Bye now.